hey, I want to talk about something. I'm not big for watching TV or movies much. I definitely don't watch the news or anything like that. Um, it's not really ever been my thing. I've been more of a outdoors kind of person for a long time. Now, in the 70s, yeah, I loved the sitcoms from the 70s. And some from before. I mean, sure. I mean, especially the black and white stuff. And I, I love the old um, Universal Studio Monsters. And I love the... Um, the black and white sci-fi movies with the old sci-fi music. I just love that sound. But anyway, my point was to talk about my show. And it's I guess it's not just my show, but I am a die-hard Walking Dead fan. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know the difference between the comic book and the TV show. That kind of fan. And I gotta say that I love the show more. And it's been with me through the full... Um, it's been with me. I started watching the week before everything went crazy. And it's been one consistent thing that's been in my life for sure. And every weekend when I had cable, because it came on AMC, for those of y'all that don't know, it is a TV show about the zombie apocalypse. And it's not your average Night of the Living Dead. I've been with these people. Okay, these people have been with me. Through thick and thin. It's been a way of escaping. And not only that, it's been very therapeutic because these people, this group of people, there's still some of the original cast left for those of you that aren't into The Walking Dead. And, um, they're going to be having movies next year. I'm just a crazy, crazy Walking Dead fan. I've got the posters, I've got the shirts, I've got the comic books. I mean, get off of it. Everybody's got to collect something. And I collect many things, but... Um, Walking Dead, um, I'm not crazy about collecting the merchandise, but... Some of it's been gifted to me, and some of it I just treated myself to. Um... If I was to say which character I most resonate with, it would be probably Daryl or Carol. Not so much Carol, because I've never lost a child, and, um... On the show, Carol has lost many children. And she is one bad ass bitch. And if I was going to be with anybody in the zombie apocalypse, it would probably be Carol. Maybe even over Daryl, because she she's 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 a she's she's a badass bitch. But I think probably I resonate more with Daryl. Yeah, the motorcycle riding, leather jacket with the wings on it. The emotional roller coaster and the emotional, emotionally triggered outbursts of revenge. And the tears when you lose people. Daryl is so emotional, and he's so off on my own kind of guy, only I'm not eating squirrels and owls and birds and 
mice. I'm not into that meat that much. <laughs> I will be eating the vegetation and only clean vegetation. <laughs> I don't know what I would be doing in the zombie apocalypse. Probably finding the highest tower or the mountain or building my own tower and hoarding an arsenal of I don't know what. I don't know. I would do something. I would be surviving as long as I could because that's me. But I better be getting in shape if I'm going to be fighting with some other people. And there's a, a little message here. Fighting the live people is a lot different than fighting the dead.